Uh, welcome back to another video. This is video number 18 of the invoice management system app or the building of the invoice management system app. So in this one, we're going to look at how to edit the items we inputted in the database. So let me start the server. If I go to localhost <coughs> and if I click list invoices, we want to be able to have um, this section clickable. Okay, like if I click the invoice name, it will give us a form to edit this particular invoice. All right, so you have all the steps right here as usual. You're gonna create a form. I'm gonna copy this and then open Sublime. Good. So in Sublime, I'm gonna go to forms.py and paste it right here. So we have it as invoice update form. Okay, I'm gonna bring the fields again. I'm gonna copy those fields and paste it right here. Save it. Alright, so we're now ready to move to the next step. I'm gonna copy this and take it to the views to py. Good in views to py, I'm gonna scroll down and paste it right here. All right, so we're gonna have an update view, okay, or update invoice view, and this is gonna take a parameter, which is a primary key, okay. So when we pass that primary key. It's going to use that to filter the objects in the invoice table okay and we're going to do that by um, using invoice.objects.get id is equals to the pk that is the id of the object that we passed in to this function all right so we're going to set whatever we get from this object into this variable query set Alright, so now that we have an object into this query set, we're gonna render our form and then um, display the items or display the content of that query set using the instance equals to query set, the variable there. So that's gonna give us the option to <coughs> um, render the objects or the item into the form. Now we'll give it give us the option to edit it. So we're going to have an if statement and that is to save whatever um, adjustment we've made to the data. So if we click on the save button, that's going to create a post request or a post method. Good. So um, it's going to um, do a form validation again if all the validations are met. If all these criteria, right now we don't have any validations set. Um, we're going to use the same validations that we have here. I'm gonna paste them right here okay so I'm gonna use the same validations right here I might have just used this form to do the update I just want to show you everything like all that you need to um, do the editing of the data so I'm gonna save it while these validations are all met or if it passed all the validations it's gonna now do form that save that is saving the updates and then redirect us to the list invoice view that is us what we have in the add invoice okay now this is just a context to render our form on the browser and we're gonna create an entry in fact we're gonna use the same um, template that we use for inputting data enter the HTML okay so I'm gonna save it <coughs> and then move to the next step where we create the path and this part is what is responsible for passing the id to the view so i'm going to paste this in views.py or oh, sorry the urls.py 
I'm going to paste it right here. <coughs> so this the part or the URL, um, whatever um, URL that we want to go to, sorry, the URL will be update invoice slash the ID of whatever item we want to update. Okay, so we're going to um, go to views that update. Okay, we're going to look at the views the py file and then run the update view that is the view that we just created this one right here okay and we're going to give it a name as update invoice i'm going to save it and test it i hope the server did not break good so the server is still running um so i'm going to do the invoice update slash an id okay let's test that i'm going to paste this and use an ID of one. Okay, name invoice form not defined. So we'll have to import that in the um, models, sorry, the in the views the py. Right here we are using this um, form here, but we've not imported it. We've not imported it here. Okay, we're gonna import it right here. Invoice update form. And then refresh this page all right so you can see the form was rendered and the items or the data is now inserted in the form so we can change some of these parameters or values or figures okay and then save it again good so you can see that invoice has been updated now what is left is to make it clickable okay the code is working fine now we want to um, have a URL right here to be able to click it and that should allow us to update this record okay so that's the next step gonna copy and paste it in the invoice list I'm gonna paste it just below here so that I see what's going on now all I need is the TD which is already here I want to wrap the instance dot name with an URL okay with an anchor link a URL and the URL will be update invoice and the ID so this will be responsible for passing the ID into the view okay now um, I'm gonna copy just here I, I'm just gonna copy cut it yeah I'm gonna cut it and paste it or oh, what I'll do is let me just replace this um, uh, entire name okay name i'm gonna replace this with this okay save it and refresh our app there you have it you can see all these are now clickable and if i hover right here okay you can see on the bottom left corner of the screen you can see the ids are changing okay now we have update inverse 1, inverse 2, inverse 3. So anyone that I just click, it will be able to give me the option to edit it. Alright, so I can edit anything. I want to edit and click save. Alright, so this is what I want to show you in this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to click on the like button. Click on the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And if you're subscribed yet, see you in the next video.